In this tutorial, we will teach you how to use the stationary art brushes and live paint bucket tool in Adobe Illustrator. You can use these art brushes for making either text or object illustrations in Adobe Illustrator. The first step is to create your custom art brush. Over here, an art brush in the shape of a pencil and a crayon will be used. Create them by means of the tools in Illustrator, or pick up an existing image of a pencil and a crayon and simply trace it by means of the pen tool. Here, traced images are used. Paste them by pressing Ctrl V. Alter the stroke weight of these images so as to specify the stroke weight of the brush itself. Change the crayon stroke weight to 3. Select one object, drag it to the brush's panel, and a pop-up option menu emerges. Select Art Brush and its setting will open. Reduce the width for this case to 20%. This value differs according to your requirement. From the Brush Scale option, select Stretch Between Guides. Two guides appear on the image of your artwork below. Adjust the area between guides so that Illustrator only stretches that portion of the brush. Repeat this process to make the crayon image an art brush as well. After you're done with this, then select the Text tool. Select the font type as Helvetica Normal and the size is 72. In the text box, write CAT in caps lock. Select it by means of the Selection tool, go to the Object menu, expand it, and decrease the opacity to 10%. To apply the art brushes and form letters from them, first create paths. Use the pen tool to create the circular path for the C. Make sure no fill is selected. Go to the brushes panel and select the crayon art brush. The path gets covered up with the crayon. If you do not deselect the art brush and make an anchor point, then this crayon stretches more to encompass the new end point as well. To create this letter by more crayons, deselect the path by clicking anywhere outside it by means of the Selection tool. The Selection tool appears temporarily if you keep pressing Control, or you can select it by pressing V. Add more crayons by means of the Pen tool. Add brushes to the other two letters. Since they're not curved, you can use the Line Segment tool to trace the letter and repeat the same procedure as you did with the letter C. This time, select the Pencil Art Brush. To add color to these brushes, first select each art brush with the Selection tool. Keep pressing down the Shift key and select All Brushes. Then go to Object and press Expand Appearances. Use the Live Paint Bucket tool to click on this complete illustration and make it a Live Paint group. After deselecting all, you can start coloring on each art brush separately. Colors from your swatch panel can be seen in three boxes above the Live Paint Bucket tool. Press the right and left keys on your keyboard to switch in between colors. Select each art brush and fill it with the color you want. Notice how the text that you initially wrote in gray is still present and visible at the back. To remove this, drag that text box below the created image and when selected, press backspace to delete it. This method can be applied on any image or text that you wish.